Alright guys, this is a quick tutorial. Welcome back. Um Seven Fire. Um I had a question from Alan Yan about how the no one animations ended. So I created this quick scene. Let's have a mesh instance, a spatial, an animation player, and the camera to see where you know to look. So all that pretty much did is set up this scene so I just check the input and I added some uh, simple animations to the cube so it's move left and move up so I'm gonna go over how to you know know when the animation ended and I made these functions too so the way you do this is make signals so you could go say for example let this animation player dot connect so animation started so this would we'll get call each time an animation uh, starts whoops and I put right here you say this is the um the signal you want to connect this is the script that you want to get the function from that you're going to call and then here you put the actual name of the script so it's sometimes easy to just copy it over and you drop it in there another thing is this the signal returns the name of the the, the animation that was playing so in the function you need to actually have a parameter for it to store it to so then now it has it here and i could print it if that makes sense and then let's connect let's just make a copy of this connect animation ended or finish I should say finished and then animation finished same thing have the name Let's double check if that's correct. Uh, uh, oh well. we'll find out, right? Mission finished. And then you have one odd one that most people probably won't use. It's called animation changed. Mesh, oops. Connect. Animation changed. This one returns two. Um. See. Um. I uh, can't see. It's dark. On animation. Keep in mind, you don't have to have it as these names. I just named it that. You don't. It could just say animation change, or you could call something to happen. You know what I mean. So you have the old animation name and the new animation name. So I uh, explain this. So let's go over. So I have it printing the names. So let's see what happens. So let's play. Switch back to output mode. Add, I was testing it here, so let's clear that. Run. So I have it as up for animation playing up. So you see, printed up animation started and left. And then there's one odd one. So animation change only gets called. Let me see how do I explain this. I think while while an animation is created to play so for example while the animation is going up and you press you pr let me see what i had here <laughs> i am completely forgetting okay uh okay i have ui cancel so i have the escape button let's run that and show you for example if i press up and then press escape before the animation finishes it's gonna do that so up animation change to move left so what I pretty much did here was 
Kiwi, Kiwi, can you say that? Kiwi, the animation left to move after the last one is completed. So it just gives you this one and this one. I'm not sure why I would use that for anything, but oh well. So let's do something that makes more sense. So animation finished. Let's tell the particle, I don't have to delete that. Let's tell the particle system to blow up. So that, that emitting, oops, to true. So I just made a simple explosion particle. So stop, start again, then up, explosion, left, explosion, up and left, oops, explosion, up and left. Oh, I forgot. So let's, let's try that again. Up and left. Up and left. <laughs> oh boy. Trying to. Come on. Up. There you go. Alright. That should be it. Should understand that now. Uh, guys, one more thing to keep in mind. If you have a looping animation, for example, I have move left as looping. Let's run it now. Um, oops, let's get that to there. If you notice, animation finish will never be called, but animation up would be called. Start and finish. Left, never be called. Keep that in mind. And query doesn't work on that either. So query. Only if it's the animation is changing from isn't a looping animation. Alright guys.